photograph of a cameraman jumping on a protester in Assam. Some say the protester was dead. Some say he was alive but dying. But do you know the truth? The truth is, it is the photographer who was dead. And it is our collective conscience that is dead. This poem is dedicated to that man and all the people who have become a victim of senseless violence. My name is Anusha and I present before you a picture and a thousand unspoken words. Whose land was it on which he lay gasping, crouched, nursing a bullet wound from which the blood oozed into the ground, quenching the earth? Whose air was it that he took in painfully? In short breaths of desperation, each expelling hope from his body, spreading the stench of fear. Whose hands were they that watered the inhumanity, nurtured it with false pride and righteousness, that pointed towards the crouching man, promising honour in a dishonourable act? Whose eyes were they that watched the immeasurable hatred play out on a helpless fellow human? that gazed blankly as he stomped on a dying man, squeezing out life hastily, but surely. Whose ears were they that heard the fuming screams escaping a demonic soul with every jump, muffled in a jarring symphony with the plaintive whimpers of the dying man? My earlobes burst, my eyes burn, I gasp helplessly, I taste the hot blood as the stones and his shoes cut deep wounds into me. Deep, deeper, deeper still. But not deeper than the pits into which your silent, uncaring soul has shrunk. Not deeper than the collective well of imbecility, window-dressed as patriotism, or the cesspool of violence, adulation, indifference or helplessness you are drowning in not deeper than the deepest sigh I heave, knowing that my death will also be in vain. My death will also be in vain.